Patreon, how are you beautiful, gorgeous people doing today? Yes, it is Monday, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get into a few episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm looking forward to this very, very much. We're going to do about two or three episodes, guys. It just depends, maybe more. Um, every single week now, we're going to have two of this because now with one of the requests per month, someone has requested me to do two episodes of this instead of watching one of the movies per month. So... That's what we're going to do, guys, because it only goes for 20 minutes. And, um, yeah, I'm on holidays now. Um, exams are over. All paperwork's done. All taxes done, guys. So now we can relax for the new... Basically, I call this the new year. This is the new year for me because, like I said, it's um, end of tax time. It's the start. It's fresh. Everything's all done. Now I can relax. And uh, the sun is out. <sighs> And like I said, it's uh, it's a lot more relaxing now. Now, because I am a teacher, everything's going to be a little bit more relaxing now that we have holidays with episode 6. And I'm looking forward to it. Avatar The Last Airbender has been absolutely magnificent, guys. This has to be one of the best TV series I've ever seen. And I have seen How to Get Away with Murder. How to Get Away with Murder is next level. But this is just unbelievable. This has to be, like I said, this has to be one of the greatest TV series I've ever seen. No wonder why this was rated 9.3 out of 10 on IMDb. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. But, I mean, Avatar, the, the kid, he's about to, uh, I think he's now slowly discovering who he is. And uh, how powerful he truly is. And it's good because now he can use it for good instead of evil. Uh, a lot of people when they get superpowers like that, they use it for evil. And he's going to use it for good. So I'm looking forward to this very much guys. Remember, if you want to check this out without the watermark, up here or down in the description down below. Everyone over on Patreon, thank you very much for supporting me. Every single day, you guys have been absolutely unbelievable with the amount of support. It's it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And I can't thank you guys enough. I truly, truly can't thank you guys enough from the bottom of my heart. You are awesome people. And like I say all the time, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. Now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get right into this. Let's do it. Come on. Great, you're back. What's for dinner? We've got a few options and some rock-shaped nuts that might just be rocks. <laughs> Dig it. Whoa! What was that? Oh! It's coming from over there. I never understood why people in horror films or in films in general where they hear things and they walk to it or slowly walk to it. Katara. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> hey, that guy's gotta be right. Let's do the quiet approach. Hello, my name is Katara. I come in peace. <laughs> Maybe we're near a village, and I bet that village has a market. I worked hard to get those nuts. I'm sure you yeah, did. I hate him too. Hey! We saw you earthbending. <gasps> you know what would happen if they caught you earthbending. Fire Nation, act natural! No, uh. What do you want? I've already paid you this week. The tax just doubled. Fire. It's sometimes so hard to control. Hmm. Prick. Absolute prick. You can keep the copper ones. Fire Lord Ozai uses our town's coal mines to fuel his ships. But Haru's an earthbender. Earthbending is forbidden. Asking him not to earthbend is like asking me not to waterbend. Yep. It's a part of who we are. Yep. You don't understand. He could take Haru away like they took his father. Oh, shivers. My mom said you can sleep here tonight. I'll make sure Abba doesn't eat all your hay. <laughs> Too late. 
<laughs> My father was very courageous, but they fought back anyway. He sounds like a great man. They rounded up my father and every other earthbender. We haven't seen them since. Yeah, so right. that's why you hide your earthbending. Yeah, the only way I can feel close to my what? father now is when I practice my bending. Oh. I lost my mother in a Fire Nation raid. This necklace is all I have left of her. I hate the Fire Nation. I hate the Fire Nation! The mine! Oh, no. It's not working. We have to get help. Please, there's no one around to see you. It's the only way. You have to do it. That man's gonna die. Here we go. Haru, you did it! That old man's gonna tell. Watch. So uh oh. That's the earth bender. Should have let you to die, old man. I don't like saying that. Should have left you to freaking die and rot. Tosser. Absolute tosser. They took him. They took Haru away. The old man turned him into the Fire Nation. It's all my fault. Yep. Slow down, Katara. When did this happen? Katara, Haru's Katara, Katara. They came for we don't need to track him. The Fire Nation is going to take me right to Haru because they're going to arrest me for earthbending. Here they come. Hmm. Get in your places. What did you call me? A giant eared cretin. I bet elephants get together and make fun of how large your ears are. <laughs> That's it. You're I said earthbending <gasps> style. That lemur, he's earthbending. No, you idiot. It's the girl. Oh. <laughs> Momo, you have some big ears. He does. <laughs> oh, poor Momo. <laughs> so cute. He's all your kitty kitty. Uh oh. She'll be fine, Aang. Katara knows what she's doing. I am your warden, and we can solitary with a his manners. <laughs> Simply treat me with the courtesy I give you, and we'll get along famously. <laughs> it is impossible. Good day. I even speak like my poops don't stink. Yes. Mmm. There he is. There he is. There he is. Haru! What are you doing here? I came to rescue you. So, you got yourself arrested? You got guts, Katara. I'll give you that. There's someone I want you to meet. Katara, this is my father, Tyro. Dad, That's his dad. This is Katara. It's an honor to meet you. Have some dinner, Katara. I wasn't expecting that Ooh. voice at all. <laughs> it's still pretty bad, though. Tyro, the prisoners are confining. <laughs> In the meantime, make sure the elderly are taken care of. If you don't mind me asking, what's your escape plan? You know, the plan to get everyone off the rig? Hope that one day some of us can get back home and forget this ever happened. Katara, I admire your courage. And I envy She has a lot of it. The people's lives are at stake here. I'm sorry, but we're powerless. We'll see about that. Earthbenders! Every child in my water tribe village was rocked to sleep. Imagine how powerful all of them would be if they combined together. It's the strength of your hearts that make you who you are. I can tell you the Avatar has returned. Let us fight for our freedom! Aye, aye, aye. I think they're only going to fight if they see the Avatar. Henceforth. Ow. We don't have much time. There are guards everywhere. Get on. I'm not giving up on these people. That's a big statement. There has to be a way to help them. Maybe she's right. Look! Tell me exactly what you saw. Which was it? A buffalo or a bison? That's not really the point, is it, sir? I'll decide what the point is, fool. <laughs> you! Wake up the captain. Search the entire bye bye. rig. Uh, sir. What? That was the captain you just <laughs> threw overboard. Sorry. And wake up someone I have. There's something going on here, and I don't like it. 
This is brilliant, man. We don't have much time. This is brilliant. What are we gonna I tried talking the earthbenders into fighting back, but it didn't work. Something they can bend. But this entire place is made of metal. On top of rock. I bet they're burning coal. In other words, earth. These vents reminded me of our little trick back at the village. When he does his airbending, the coal only has one place to go. Katara, stop! You can't win this fight! Hmm. Chance, Earthbenders! Their spirits were broken a long time ago. They're a waste Wanker. of your energy, little girl. Wanker. Wanker. Mm -hmm. Wanker. Yeah! Mm -hmm. hey, 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 Come on, stand up and fight, Earthbenders! Show it's either now or never! It's our freedom! For the Earth Kingdom, attack! Yes. Oh yeah. Do not let them escape. Oh. Guys, throw me some coal. Nice. Voila, <laughs> 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 tío. I can't swim. Don't worry. I hear cowards float. Get ready for it! <laughs> Team Rockets blasting off again! <laughs> I want to thank you for saving, for saving us. It wasn't the coal, Katara. It was you. Uh, thank Katara, you Katara, Katara! Katara! My family and everyone che, here. Oi che, oi che! To take back all of our villages! Yes! The Fire Nation will regret the day they set foot on our land! Come with us. I can't. That's him, isn't it? The Avatar. Katara, thank you for bringing my father back to me. My mother's necklace! Uh oh. It's gone! Oh no. Voila! Mmm! Oh, hey, hey, hey. Chill with the next. You with the next episode, man. Whoa, bad boy. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoo! Another episode done and dusted. How amazing is Katara? Honestly, I think Katara. Katara has to be my. I'm going to say Katara has to be my favorite character. She's so courageous. She 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 is so honest. She stands up for what is right, and I love that. Especially, especially in a young person who, who sees the world the way she does. It's so amazing because that's, that's what you want your kids to be when they're older, yeah? That's what you're trying to teach your kids. And to see that in a young person, it's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, she has to be my favorite character. Aang is incredible, but Katara just she is just unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, uh, guys, let me just say that this did not disappoint this episode, and the messages that everyone gets from this episode once again is you stand up to bullies. Quite simple. You stand up for yourself. When people are bringing you down, when people are keeping you, are keeping you under their foot and telling you that you're worthless, that you can't do anything, that you should remain on the floor, you pick your ass back up. You pick your ass up and you puff your chest out and you say to that person, my name is Dylan. Don't say Dylan, but say your name, for example. My name is Dylan. And I'm not going to stand for your crap. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. And I don't necessarily mean... I don't necessarily mean physically fighting, doing it that way. I'm talking figuratively. You do that. So you don't stand up and you start punching and things like that. No. People bringing you down like that. Here, you stand back. You stand back up. 
you stand up, you pick yourself up, and you say that to yourself. My name is Dylan, and I'm not going to take your crap. Do it, guys. And the best thing, the best therapy for that is when people are trying to diminish who you are as a person like they were doing to these earthbenders. The best thing to do is to look in the mirror and tell yourself who you are. Remind yourself who you are, who you believe you are. Because as long as you're believing in who you are as a person on, and what you can do, then that's all that matters. Other people's opinion about yourself doesn't matter because you live with yourself 24-7. You know who you are. Guys, what, I, what can I say other than this just teaches so many kids so many good things. I wonder why this is, I wonder why this is sensational, man. It's just unbelievable. Episode 6 and um, I'm already hooked. I'm going to get right into episode 7. Guys, remember, if you want to check this in full, episode 7, episode 8, episode 9, episode 55, episode 1, go over to Patreon. No watermark right here, no watermark, nothing like that. It's all in full over on Patreon, guys, and you will enjoy it. I'm telling you right now, you're missing out. People that aren't on Patreon, you're missing out. And a lot of people are saying, I can't afford it, I can't afford it. Look, I know it's 7 euros, but guys... You go and buy a coffee once a week. How much is that coffee? Three dollars. Three euros. So, for less than you pay for a coffee or that cool drink or cigarettes, you can come and be entertained over on Patreon. It's, it, it's little. It's a little amount. It's a little amount. That's it. And if you don't want to, no problem. Stay over YouTube and wait. But YouTube, remember, YouTube... Uh, this is not like other reaction channels, guys. All right? Just remember that. We're so far ahead over on Patreon because we react daily and we react to a lot of things. We're not doing every three days we react to one movie or every second day watch one movie. No. We're watching so many things, guys. So many things. And we're so far ahead. So just remember, you're missing out if you don't go over to Patreon. And I see it all the time in the comment section. A lot of people saying, oh, you're putting it behind a paywall. Mm. There's a lot of people over on Patreon that disagree with just being a paywall. There's more than just a paywall. It's entertainment that can't be put onto YouTube. Simple fact. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I love each and every single one of you. Stay tuned for the next episode. Everyone on Patreon, you're going to get an absolute blockbuster of a day today. There's going to be videos galore coming out. I hope you enjoy it. Bye, guys. Take it easy. See you soon. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. My name is Dylan and welcome back. Yes, we are watching another episode of Avatar The Last Airbender, book one, episode seven, part one, Winter Solstice, the spirit world. Now, looking forward to this very much. Katara, my favorite character. Last episode was absolutely phenomenal, showcasing her her absolute mental strength, her, her absolute stubborn ability to overcome anything that gets put in front of her. And I think all three of them together, they make the best combination for friendship because they're all different in their own way. And it's brilliant. This is just brilliancy personified. This TV show is really, really good, guys. And I'm just, I'm in awe of it. I'm in absolute awe of it. And the more I can watch this, the better I am and the happier I'm going to be because it's just, it's just spot on. Perfect. Anything you want to say is perfect. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Remember, if you want to go check this out in full, just head here or down in the description down below over on Patreon with no watermarks and in full with me, guys. All right? So if you want to do that, go ahead. Every single day I have videos coming out. Bang, 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 boosh. Wherever you want, wherever you are in the world, you will get a video. Boom, 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 boom. Now, everyone over on Patreon, thank you very much, you beautiful gorgeous delightful amazing people you are beautiful you are stunning and i love every single one of you 
Now, let's do this. Come on, let's go. Ole, ole! <laughs> Book one, agua. Those clouds look so soft, don't they? Like you could just jump down. Maybe you should give it a try. I'll try it. <laughs> Turns out clouds are made of water. <laughs> a lot more things than hey, just water, yeah? That? Clouds are made out of a lot of things. A cloud is a mixture of gas, liquid, and solids. The majority of the cloud is just plain air in which the invisible water vapor is mixed with and the very tiny water drops and ice particles are suspended in. So, basically to cut it short guys, if you go to places where there you know there's pollution like high amounts of pollution i mean high 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 like toxic pollution generally you will get toxic rain and a lot of places when well the places where i'm not going to mention their names because i don't know why youtube it's really weird with youtube when you mention these names but a lot of the places where let's just say nuclear plants blew up a lot of those places, they were saying that when it started to rain, that the rain was turning into like an acid type of rain, yeah? Where a lot of the time they had to not drink the water for years upon years. And there's some places right now, I'm not going to mention them, but there's some places surrounding the towns surrounding the areas. You can probably guess what I'm talking about, yeah? surrounding though that area those towns you can't live or drink anything or grow anything because you will die and it's still happening now years upon years upon years upon years later after everything that had happened they've actually made probably give it away now but they made documents and movies about this you probably know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm not going to say it because I mentioned it in a video before. And for some reason, it was a part, uh, against YouTube's policy. I don't know why. It was so weird. And I wasn't even talking about anything controversial. So, anyway, let's continue, guys. Listen. It's so quiet. Are you okay? Fire Nation! Those evil savages make me sick. Why would anyone do this? It has nothing to do with you. Yes, it does. Mm. That's why we're going to the North Pole. To find you a teacher. Monkey Atso said that Avatar Roku would help me. The Avatar before you? Uncle, it's time to leave. Where are you? He's getting a Over nice here. dip. Uncle? We need to move on. <laughs> we're closing on the Avatar's trail. Uh, and I don't want to lose. Why don't you join me in the... That'd be relaxing as heck, man. Away oh. your troubles. My troubles cannot oh. be soaked away. It's time to go. That would be so relaxing, Take dude. Seriously. Temperature's just right. Get out of the water. Very well. Oh, deal. Why don't you take another few minutes, but be back at the ship in half an hour, or I'm leaving without you. <laughs> His little cheesy puff was hey, uh, hanging out. Are you ready to be cheered up? No. That cheer you up? Hey, how is that cheering me up? Cheered me up. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I probably deserve that. That means hmm. the forest will grow back. Every one of I was these a, will be a tall oak tree. I was about to say, guys, the thing is, right, I, I know it's devastation for animals and 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 agriculture and things like that, but the thing is, when accidents happen or people purposely burn places, as long as nothing gets killed or hurt, they will actually grow. The plants, the trees, they will grow back. The same ones will grow back stronger and more beautiful. Someday, and all the birds and animals that lived here will come back. Yep. Thanks, Katara. <gasps> uh oh. Hey, who are you? I thought it was impossible. Are you the Avatar child? Yes, sir. My village desperately needs your help. Yeah, right. Whoa, what happened here? This young person is the Avatar. 
It is the greatest honor of a lifetime to be in your presence. I feel like he's going from place to place to place to place, and there's going to be a big war at the end, and all the places that he's helped, they're all going to come together as one to destroy everyone, all the evil, yeah? So, I feel like that's what they're going to do, because the Avatar is helping them out now. Nice to meet you, too. Is there Such a I good kid. Such a good kid. A spirit monster comes and attacks our village. He is Heibai. The black and the white spirit. Hmm. Why is it attacking you? We do not know. We are especially fearful because the winter solstice draws near. The natural world and the spirit world will grow closer and closer hmm. until Heibai is already causing devastation and destruction. There is no telling what will happen. Solstice. So who better to resolve a crisis between our world and the Avatar himself? You are the great bridge between man and spirits. Yep. Right. Yep. That's me. Hey, great bridge guy. Can I talk to you over here for a second? <laughs> hey, great bridge guy. Unsure hey, great bridge this. guy. Yeah, that might be because I don't know anything at all about the spirit world. Ah, poor fella. True. Can you help these people? I have to try, don't I? Come to me. I think you can do it, Aang. We're all gonna get eaten by a spirit monster. <laughs> <laughs> Far out, old man. Life is good, eh? Who's there? I should have known. You startled me, little one. But it was a very sweet nap. He's trying to tell you something. Ostras! He's no ordinary soldier. This is the Fire Lord's brother. But now, he's our prisoner. Mm -mm. Wow. The Fire Lord's brother is now captured. Hello. I'm here to try to help stuff. This isn't right. If anyone can save us, he can. He still shouldn't have to face this alone. Uh oh. The sun is set. Yep. Where are you, hey bye? I hereby ask you to please leave this village in peace. Okay. Well, I guess that's settled then. Easy is that. Oh, that is creepy. Oh, that's creepy as heck, bro. Oh my gosh. Ah. You must be the hay by spirit. Oh my god. What the heck? The Avatar's methods are unusual. Maybe we should go help him. No, only the Avatar stands a chance. Aang will figure out the right thing to do, Sokka. Please, would you stop destroying things and listen? Excuse me. Would you please turn around? Oh. I command you to turn around now! Come on, Aang! Voila, deal! <laughs> That's it. It's not safe. Oh, Saka, what are you doing? Hey, bye. Over here. <laughs> Saka, go back. Oh. We'll fight him together. I'll fight him unless I. Oh, shivers. Saka. Uncle, Uncle, where are you? Something's not right here. It looks like there's been a landslide, sir. Mm. Those rocks didn't move naturally. Earth My uncle's benders. been captured by earthbenders. <laughs> hey, over here! Help! Hang on, Saka! <laughs> oh, shivers. Oh, shivers. Oh, no. Where's Saka gone? Oh no, where is Saka gone? I failed. Where are you taking me? We're taking you to face justice. A place you're quite familiar with, actually. You once laid siege to it for 600 days. Ah, the great city of Ba Sing Se. I acknowledge my defeat at Ba Sing Se. My men were tired, and I'm still tired. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sure they'll be back. I know. 
That was creepy, man. Ooh, you should get that ghost. Ooh, one thing about the afterlife and things like that, that stuff. Ooh, it sends shivers down my spine. Your brother is in good hands. I would be shocked if the Avatar returned without him. Is returned without Tara? him. Tara, I lost him. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh for that, sorry. But that was funny. The sun is rising. What? No, I'm right here. <gasps> oh, he's a ghost! Holines! I'm in the spirit world. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's Uncle Iroh. Ha 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 ha! Oh, oh that's hilarious. <laughs> All I have to do is figure out what I have to do. Papa, hey, buddy, I'm right here. But I guess you can't see me either. Don't worry. I'm sure they're on their way back. What am I supposed to do? Avatar Roku, how can I talk to you? Sokka? That's Whoa. definitely not Sokka. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? I can't airbend in the spirit world. Hola, tío. I'm Avatar Roku's animal guy. To save huh. my friend tonight. There's some way for me to talk to Roku? I'll be back, Katara. Excellent, excellent. <gasps> What's the problem? Actually, there is a bit of a problem. Too loose. That's right. The cuffs are loose and they... It would help me if you would tighten them. Corporal, tighten the prisoner's handcuffs. <laughs> I don't understand. This is just a statue of Roku. Or is it? What Roku wants to talk to me about? A comet? It's a calendar, and the light will reach Roku on the solstice. He is too dangerous, Captain. We have hmm. to do something now. I agree. <laughs> it's no use, Appa. I don't see them anywhere. The Avatar. The Avatar or your uncle? Avatar, uncle. Avatar, uncle. Whoa. Hmm. You're back! Where's Sokka? I'm not sure. Mm. I'll find out in a sec. Excellent form, Prince Zuko. You taught me well. Five against two. You're clearly outnumbered. But you are clearly outmatched. Mmm. Game over. Now would you please put on some clothes? <laughs> I can see your wee wee. <laughs> what a deal! You are the spirit of this forest. Mm. You're upset and angry because your home was burned down. My friend gave me hope that the forest would grow back. It was the panda. Well done. Sokka! You were trapped in the spirit world for 24 hours. Like I seriously need to use the bathroom. <laughs> well done, Aang. Thank you, Avatar. If only there were a way to repay you for what you've done. And some money. Sokka? What? <laughs> we need stuff. I'm so proud of you, Aang. Actually, I did have a little help. And there's something else. I need to talk to Roku, and I think I found a way to contact his spirit. Hmm. That's cool. And if I go there on the solstice, I'll be able to speak with him. The island is in the Fire Nation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, part two is gonna be soon. Ah, ooh, 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 ah, ah, ooch, ah, ooh, ooh, ooch, ah. Yeah, winter solstice or solstice. The pronunciations are different from around the world. The spirit world part one is done, ladies and gentlemen. Part two is going to be sick. I think there's a big showdown coming up at part two, guys. Oh, with Fire Nation. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I don't know how many times I've said it, but this is so good, man. Aang, Aang this episode, he, he, he took all the cake. Katara is usually really, really good, but Aang this episode, he, he took the cake. He took the cake, the cream, the cherry, uh, frosting, whatever you want. Everything. The little decoration that goes on top. Little leaf. Whatever. He took everything. This man. Well, this kid. Sorry. I forget sometimes. He's just a little kid, yeah? This kid is showing us all watching this that he is truly the master. Oh, man. How he, uh, uh, how he was able to determine that that was a panda... That that was the panda spirit was sensational. I, I I really... It wasn't very predictable. And I don't know why I didn't get it, but... Yeah, it... Oh, so good, man. So freaking good. I don't know what to say other than... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this, this fight, this battle... With Fire Nation. Oh... I just want to see a huge epic battle. Oh. 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 That bit when the when the panda's spirit though scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, when I first saw it, I was crapping my pants. Absolute crap in my pants. And then the second time, I didn't really crap myself because I knew what it was. But oh my gosh. Whew. That's one thing about the spirit world. I'm I'm terrified Fired of the the thought of the spirit world doing things to us that will haunt us, but I'm not scared of spirits in general, if that makes sense. So I'm not scared of ghosts and and spirits and things like that. I'm not scared, but I'm scared of the thought about what they can do to us. Yeah, that's what I'm scared about. I'm terrified about because yeah. Anyway. Sensational, guys. 10 out of 10. Again, Avatar The Last Airbender has not disappointed. Remember, guys, if you want to go check this out in full, head up here or down in the description down below, just down there. You can watch this in full without the watermark. Everyone over on Patreon, bless you all. All of you have been absolutely killing it, absolutely doing amazing over on Patreon. You guys are awesome, honestly. Each and every single month. It's just unbelievable. I love you guys. And we're not going to stop this until I'm old. And I'm in a retirement home, okay? I'm telling you guys right now. Anyway, guys. Take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye, guys. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic today. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Book 1, Episode 8, Part 2, Winter Solstice, Avatar, Roku. Or Roku, I'm not too sure. This is Avatar, The Last Airbender, guys. This is Season 1. Uh, I do believe there's about 10 episodes left, 10 or 11 episodes left of this season. And if you guys don't know, per week, we're now doing two per week because it is a request from uh, one of the Tier 5 patrons. And instead of doing the movie, we're doing the episode of this and it's only 20 minutes. So we're doing the extra one for him every single week. So it's two now. So say th everyone better say thank you to that person. Um, yeah, in the comments right now, say thank you to that person because now we're doing it twice a week. So... Um, yeah, on YouTube, I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch up on YouTube, but there's so many TV series I have to edit myself. And it's it's very, very difficult, guys. Very, very difficult. So, I'm looking forward to it very, very much, guys. Because, as I say, as always, Aang, Aang, he, he is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. But, we need to pay close attention to the friendship that he's developing with the other two. Because, I, I feel like... They have a pivotal role with who Avatar, well, who Aang becomes. 
not just Avatar, be, him being the greatest of all time. It's about him develop, developing into a young man. From a boy to a young man, I think those two play a huge role in that. Because essentially he's their little brother, if you think about it. So I'm looking forward to it very, very much, guys. Let's get right into it. Remember, everyone over on YouTube, if you want to watch it without the watermark, it is up here. If you want to watch it without the watermark, in full, it is up here or down in the description down below. Everyone over, everyone over on Patreon, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go, Appa. Come on, boy. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but Katara and Sokka aren't coming to the Fire Nation with us. So get your big butt off the ground and let's go. Appa's <laughs> like, no. I please don't go, Aang. The world can't afford to lose you to the Fire Nation. But I have to talk to Avatar Roku to find out what my vision means. We're not letting you go into the Fire Nation, Aang. He's not without your friends. We got your back. You'll have to fly fast to have any chance of making it before sundown. Before go! Oh! Trouble sleeping. Here they are. Seen the Avatar lately? Fire Nation's on their heels. Come on, boy. We've got a long way to go. Faster! Sailing into Fire Nation waters. This is the most foolish. How fast no is he choice, going? Uncle. My father will understand why I'm returning home. My brother is not the understanding type. There they are. Helms me! Aang, we got trouble! Yeah! And it's gaining fast! Couldn't you shoot them down with something more fragrant? On my mark. Fire! I'm on it! Can't you make Appa go any faster? Just one little problem. A blockade. Voila! Turn back now and they cannot arrest you. This is exactly why I didn't want you to come. It's too dangerous. Let's run this blockade. Appa, yip yip. Appa, yip yip. Yip yip. not turning The Fire Nation captures you. There's nothing I can do. Run the blockade. The Avatar must be my lucky day. Fire. Shoot bison down, Captain. But so be it. It belongs to a traitor. Yeah, right. So I wonder if Prince Dooku is if he uh, if he ends up turning against his dad because of what they're doing, what well, what the Fire Nation are going to do to him. Ah! Look at Appa. Appa's like this is a piece of cake. Appa, are you okay? Appa's like this is easy, boy. Look, 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 look. Do not stop this ship. Launch! Ah! To be fair, I don't even think he's, uh... I don't even think he's really aiming for at the Avatar at all right now. The first time, yes, but this second time, I don't think that one was launched for the Avatar. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! Nice. Nice, bang! Ah! He is amazing, isn't he? We made it! We got into the Fire Nation. But I bet a certain banished prince will know. We're on a collision course. We can make it. Cut the engines and let them pass. Sir? They're gonna follow him. Upper is a snoring, but yet yeah, he's flying. Here it is! What the, the heck? The island where Roku's dragon took me. You did it, buddy. Nice flying. He's oh, tired. He's exhausted. Tired. Yeah. No, I'm good. Refreshed and ready to fight some fire. Not bench. you. I was talking to Momo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Momo's like, huh? <laughs> it's almost sundown. We better hurry. I don't like this, man. I think I heard something. Oh! Guardians of the Temple of the Avatar. Great! I'll hold them off! 
There's no telling how powerful the boy will become. Follow me! Do you know where you're going? Nope! Wrong way! Come oh. back! <laughs> I don't want to fight you. I am a friend. I know why you're here, Avatar. I can take you to him. How? <sighs> Time is running out. Quickly! Why didn't Commander Zhao arrest me? Because he was... If Zhao wants to follow our trail of smoke, then that's exactly what I'll let him... Many generations of fire sages guarded this temple long before me. A few weeks ago, an amazing thing occurred. Its eyes began to glow. That's hmm. when we were at the air temple. You're right. Avatar Roku, this is the Avatar's temple. Why did the sages attack me? The sages eagerly awaited for the next Avatar to return. They were waiting for me. I don't feel bad. Hmm. You're all... They lost hope the Avatar would ever return. I never wanted to serve the Fire Lord. So essentially the Fire Lord and the Fire Nation were actually... Were actually, uh, were part of the, 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 the cult who were worshipping... <clears throat> sorry, I couldn't talk for a sec. Worshipping the Avatar. That's interesting. That is very, very interesting. So basically, they're... They're traitors themselves, yes? And yet that guy was talking about his uncle was talk or Prince Prince Doku's uncle was talking about Prince Doku being a traitor when essentially they all are. Thank you for helping me. Shayu, what's wrong? The sanctuary doors. They're closed. Only a fully realized avatar is powerful enough to open this door alone. Five fire blasts, huh? I think I can help you out. Zhao will follow the smoke trail while I use it as a cover. Mm. Mm, very this smart. Is a little fake fire bending. This might actually work. The sages will hear the explosion, so as soon as they go off, you rush in. It's almost sunset. Are you ready? Definitely. Uh oh. Moment of truth. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, no. They're still locked. Didn't work. It didn't work. Why won't it open? Ah! There's nothing else we can do. I'm sorry I put you through all this for nothing. That blast looked as strong as any firebending I've seen. Sokka, you're a genius. Wait, how is Sokka? You're right. Sokka's plan didn't work, but it looks like it did. The definition of genius changed in the last hundred years. <laughs> Go quickly. The Avatar has entered the sanctuary. How did he get in? Oh. I don't know, but look at the scorch mark. He's inside. Open the doors immediately. <laughs> it's the Avatar's Lima. We've been tricked. <laughs> now, Wang. Ang, now's Aang? your chance. The Avatar's coming with oh, me. Oh, no. <laughs> Close the doors. Ah! Nice, Ang. Go. Nice. The light hits the statue, and I talk to Roku. So why isn't anything happening? <gasps> why isn't it working? It's sealed shut. Avatar Roku doesn't want us inside. Why isn't anything happening? All I know is airbending. Please, Avatar Roku, talk to me. Patience, my son. Patience, my son. What took you so long? <laughs> Why did you help six the Avatar? Minutes, it is still our duty. What a moving and heartfelt performance. When you explain why you betrayed him and Prince oh, Zuko, no. it was a noble effort. Oh, no. Two traitors in one day. The Avatar's inside and the doors are sealed. Sooner or later, he has to come out. I have something very important to tell you, Aang. When you were in the spirit world, I sent my dragon to find you. One of the Comet? Yes. Fire Lord Sozin used that Comet to begin the war. Harnessed its incredible power against the other nations. Stronger than you could even imagine. What does the Comet have to do with the war now? And Fire Lord Ozai will use its power to finish the war once and for all. If he succeeds, 
Even the Avatar won't be able to restore balance to the world. You must defeat the Fire Lord before the Comet arrives. Mastering the elements takes years of discipline and practice. You must do it by summer's end. Mm. When those doors open, unleash all your firepower. Oh, this is so oh, good. This is so good. Honestly, guys, this is so freaking good. I'll be back in a sec. I know you can do it, eh? For you have done it before. The solstice is ending. But I won't be able to come back to the temple. What if I have questions? I am a part of you. Hmm. When you need to talk to me again, you will find a way. A great danger awaits you at the temple, but only if you are ready. I'm ready. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, boy! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Hey. Fire! What? Whoa, ho, ho, ho! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Avatar Roku is going to destroy the temple. <laughs> It is Aang. Bro, this is a thing of beauty. It is Aang. Watch, it's Aang. See? How good is this? Appa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Appa, Appa, Appa. No prince, no avatar is five traitors. But commander, only Shayu helped the avatar. As I'm concerned, you are all guilty. Take them to the prison hole. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. I love it. That's a wallpaper right there. Look at that. What a shot. Oh, bad boy. That's where it ends. All right. Well, I'm going to watch uh, another episode later. Um, for now, I'm going to go spend time with the kitty kitties. But, ladies and gentlemen, what can I say other than part two of that was sensational. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy Aang finally finally was able to communicate with Roku and basically get a sense and get a feel once again of how special he is and like I say every episode it seems to me that it's just it's just snowballing to, into someone magnificent that's what's happening guys he's just snowballing into someone magnificent and you will see it you will see it. You will see it. I'm hoping to see it uh, towards the end of the season. But, oh, man. I'm telling you, Fire Nation. Fire Nation have... Uh, yeah. That Fire Nation have... Uh, ha let's just say that Fire Nation... I think I've made a mistake with the Prince, okay? With the, uh, with the young fella mistreating him. Because I have a feeling that if anyone's going to be almost impossible but if there's any chance to stop avatar it'd be with him but i have a feeling that because they're showing him solo i have a feeling that he's actually going to turn out to be a nice person i have a feeling i don't know i just have that feeling yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know i could be wrong sometimes i get that feeling i get that feeling i won't sit you won't hear anyway Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what I'm on about. Let's just go. Let's just go, guys. Um, like I said, I'll be watching the next episode later tonight. I hope you do enjoy that. As well as a movie that will be coming out tonight as well. Stay tuned for that. I'm sure you all will enjoy it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to head out. Remember, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, wherever you are around the world. I love each and every single one of you. I truly do mean that. You're all amazing, amazing human beings that are part of this community. And I love each and every single one of you for it. Bye, guys. Take it easy, and I'll speak to you very soon. Peace. Out.
ladies and gentlemen, how are you beautiful people today? Yes, we're going to take a look at episode 9, season 1, Avatar The Last Ebena. Now, I do believe this episode is called The Water Bending Scroll. Hmm. That's very interesting, that title. I'm just trying to think of in my head what it could be about. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Anyway, guys... Like I said, I'm looking forward to this very, very much. Each and every single episode of this just keeps get, keeps on getting better and better and better and better. And like I said, Aang is... He's incredible. Aang is absolutely incredible. And I I understand why now people are telling me... Been, have been telling me to watch this and have been telling me to continue watching this. Everyone over on YouTube... I am, okay? Just relax. I am. Everyone over on YouTube, I watch this twice a week over on Patreon. So just remember that. Go over to Patreon and have a look, guys, all right? Um, a lot of people over on YouTube have been asking me to watch this more and don't stop watching it. All the TV series I've been watching, I'm still continuing. Just YouTube is far behind. That's the incentive behind Patreon. Patreon, you get exclusives, because people are paying money directly, so they get exclusives over on Patreon. One of the exclusives being the movies and the TV series come out way before over on Patreon than YouTube. So just remember that, guys. So if you want to watch this before it comes out on YouTube, way before and without the watermark, up here, guys. All right? Up here. Everyone over on Patreon, thank you very much for supporting me. Once again, each and every single episode I watch this, each and every single day, you guys have been supporting me. And I love you guys for it. Let's continue this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right into it. Sensational TV series. Episode 9, Book 1, The Water Bending Scroll. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Come on, guys. Let's go. If we hit a bump, you'll go flying off. What's bugging you anyway? You're supposed to master all four elements before that comet arrives. I haven't even started waterbending, and we're still weeks away from the North Pole. If you want, I can try and teach you some of the stuff I know. You do that? We'll need to find a I think she would be a good teacher, to be honest. Maybe we can find a puddle for you to splash in. Well, I think that's a big enough puddle. What I was going to say is, I think that she'll be a... Katara will be a fantastic teacher, just because of her amazing morals. See, that's what we want in teachers as well. I was saying this the other day. Sorry to go off topic, but I was saying this the other day about teachers. That's what teachers should be about, not just about giving them knowledge out of a book. Okay, that comes secondary. But giving them wisdom and knowledge about life. That's what teachers should be doing, guys. And I'm a firm believer in it. And that's the way I teach. I teach books second. Because the things in a book, kids can learn on their own. But the things outside of the book... It's very difficult for people and kids to learn on themselves. Just remember that. So you giving your wisdom, your knowledge to kids, it goes further than a freaking book. Yeah! Don't start without me, boy! Remember the reason we're here. Oh, right. <laughs> Time to practice. Kid would be kid. You could... Clean the gunk out of Appa's toes. Oh. So, I'm supposed to be hard at work picking mud out of a giant bison's <laughs> feet? Muddy ah. oh. Oop. Someone's changing our course. No one told you to change course. Actually, someone did. It is a matter of utmost importance, Prince Zuko. I've lost my lotus tile. Most people think the lotus tile insignificant. You've changed our course for a stupid lotus tile? <laughs> See, it just gives me 10 minutes to check the merchants at this port of call, and I can get on with my life. <sighs> Lucky to have such an understanding nephew. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do me next. <laughs> this Up is a pretty basic Up move, is so but big, but yet so adorable. Effect. Just push and pull the water like this. Like this? 
you keep practicing, I'm sure eventually. Hey, I'm bending it already. I can't believe you got that so quickly. That quickly. Holy crap. It took me two crap. months to learn that move. <laughs> well, you have to figure it out all on your own. I'm lucky enough to have a great teacher. Thanks. So, what's next? What did I say? This is a more difficult I said move. she would be a magnificent water. teacher. It's harder than it looks, so don't be disappointed if... <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't be a smart ass now, all right? Ang. Well, I kind of know this one other move. I haven't even totally figured it out yet. Uh, I'm sure to he'll be able to. A big, powerful wing. So, like this? Voila, deal. Aang. See, one thing this is showing me is that Aang has got all this inside of him. He just needs to discover it. I'm telling you, he doesn't need to learn it. He's already got it. He already knows everything. I'm telling you right now. That's a life lesson in itself to every human being out there that's watching this. That you have so many abilities inside of you. You just have to know how to activate them. And that's true. <laughs> you got the hang of that move. What else you got? You just practiced our supplies down the road. Oh, no. Uh, Go get them. I'm em. sure we can... My life was hard enough when you were just an airbender. <laughs> no wonder in this bag. Who's brave enough to look into this? We've got exactly three copper pieces left from the money that King Boomy gave us. <sighs> it doesn't even work. You want to bet? See? No offense, Ang, but I'll hold the money from now on. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't work at all. I thought it was one of those whistles only animals could hear. You're welcome here. Don't be shy. Come on by. I can interest you in some exotic curios? Sure. Like churios, but more delicious. Curio is people that are curious. <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? I've never seen such a fine specimen of lever. Pirates. Oh no. Army Artes. Momo's not for sale. Look at this, Aang. It's a water bending scroll. Let's just say I got it up north. Free. Mm. So that's the scroll they're talking Slum about. Traders with suspiciously acquired merchandise? You guys are pirates! I prefer to think of ourselves as high risk. So how much for the uh traded scroll? 200 gold pieces on you right now. Watch and learn. One copper piece. The price is 200 gold pieces. Two copper pieces. Aang, can we get out of He's here? He's getting upset. I feel like I we be casting off now. <laughs> what was that all about? Ah. I was just starting to browse through their boomerang collection. <laughs> I'll just feel a lot better once we get... Hey, you! Get back here! Told you the haggling would pay off. <laughs> Nah, they've cornered you now. They've cornered you now. There they are. Get them. I don't think these pirates are here to trade with us. This way. Let's cut them off. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. Poor man's cabbages. But the other guys. Oh. This place is worse than Omashu. <laughs> That poor fella's everywhere, isn't he? I hope that lemur of yours has nine lives. Who gets to taste the steel of my blade first? Voila, deal. Grandma, I thought we were running away from the pirates. <laughs> nice, Ang. That's why I took this. No nice. Isn't it great? You stole their water bending scroll. High risk trading. <laughs> Come on, Katara. They stole it from a waterbender. You put all of our lives in danger just so you could learn some stupid. You know how crucial it is for Aang to learn waterbending. We have it. We might as well learn from it. I've checked all the shops on this pier. It's good to know Isn't this, this was a complete waste of time for everyone. Finding something you weren't looking for at a great bargain. Hmm. You bought a. Oh, this place looks promising. Oh, uh -oh. that is. We lost the water tribe, girl, and the little Bob monk. This monk, did he have an arrow on his head? <laughs> uh oh. I just here, hold it open for me. The single water whip, looks doable. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You've been duped. She's only interested in teaching herself. 
<laughs> Why can't I get this stupid move? You'll get it. Just gotta shift your way through the stances. Thing is, will you please shut your air hole? Whoa, Katara! Why don't we just throw the scroll away since you're so naturally gifted? She's letting it get to her head. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. But being a human. Won't happen again. <laughs> Here, so humans are like exactly what humans are like. What about Momo? He's the real victim here. <laughs> Sorry, Momo. Uh, what about me? Well, well, well. We don't need to stop. They stole a water bending scroll, right? Mm -hmm. So they'll be no where water, water is. Yep. On the water or next to the water? Oh. Katara, you're going to do something stupid. I'm telling you, look. Shift your weight through the stairs. Katara has just got her themselves. They got them into trouble. No, let go of me. I'll save you from the pirates. Katara, Katara, Katara. Tell me where he is. And I won't hurt you or your brother. Go jump in the river. I need to capture him to restore something I've lost. My honor. My mother's necklace. I didn't steal it, if that's what you're wondering. You promised a scroll. I wonder how much money this is worth. No! Now you help me find what I want. Search the woods for the boy and meet back here. Fine. Mm, what's wrong? She took the scroll? Yep. She's obsessed with that thing. She's, uh, uh she's gotten you guys into trouble. <laughs> I'm not good enough to kidnap. <laughs> you got what you wish for. Nice work. Hang, this is all my fault. No, Katara, it isn't. Give me the boy. You're really gonna hand over the Avatar for a stupid piece of parchment? Your friend is the Avatar. Sure is. <laughs> shut your mouth, you water. Yeah, Creating so a wedge between you them. You should shut your mouth. You guys would be set for life. Keep the scroll. You'll regret breaking a deal with me. Well done, Thanks, Momo. Momo. I owe you a bushel of apples. Momo's like, yeah, I like apples. Oh, well, that was easy enough. Look. Oh, Momo again. Hang, mm. are you there? I'm right here. Uh oh. Never mind. I'll uh. find you. <laughs> Katara, you're okay. Help me get this boat back in the water so we can get out of here. We need a team of rhinos to budge this ship. Or two waterbenders. Are you so busy fighting you cannot see your own ship? It's no proverb. Your ship Bleeding is stolen. Monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> there goes your ship. Hey! That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that uncle. That uncle is faster? hilarious. Whoa! She Couldn't did too. Your help. Each other and help me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the end of that birdie. Nice. Hey, look. Oh la dio. Behind you. The heck? <laughs> Have you lost your mind? We can stop the boat. Hey, together, push and pull the water. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Up uh, to the rescue! Freaking up. Uh. I knew a bison whistle would come in handy. So the whistle does do something. My boat! The lotus tile was in my sleeve the whole time! Ha <laughs> 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 We're just so good at water bending without really trying. Besides, who needs that stupid scroll? Is that really how you feel? Ooh, he got it. First, what did you learn? 
Stealing is wrong, unless it's from pirates. <laughs> well done. Well, there you go, guys. Another episode done and dusted. Another episode wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, like I said, I really, I really, really love Katara, the character. It's, the character is so, so well done. And her character as well, it's a life lesson for a lot of people when it comes to putting your selfish needs before others. When it backfires on you, you have to rely on others to help you, yes? So you being a selfish person in the world, one day you're going to have to rely on other people to help you and there's no one going to be there. And it could end up bad for you. Real bad for you. Just remember that, guys. Just remember that, yes? Very similar to what comes around goes around. She deserved that to happen to her because she was being selfish. She wanted to be the better the a water bender than Aang. So she was getting really snidey, real real jealous about it. And in the end she took the scroll and she basically got them found out, got them off guard. And look at the happened in the end. They almost died because of it. So this it just shows you guys being selfish is uh is a bad way to be in this life. It is really, really bad. And like I said, there's so many videos out there that you see with people that say they're successful when they're not. They're really not successful. But yet they talk about, oh, you, to be successful, you need to step on people. You need to step on people's throat and just fo uh, fo follow your path. And you have to be selfish and destroy people on the way. You actually see videos like that. Go have a look, guys. Go have a look. There's a lot of entrepreneur videos, yes? And you see them popping up on YouTube ads a lot. One of the, the worst videos I've ever seen. You see them popping up on YouTube ads a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And yet, that's not the way... That's not the way to be successful. To be successful, you have, you, you have to not worry about other people's feelings. Ah, uh, no. Being successful doesn't necessarily mean about money. Being successful is about truly accomplishing what you're supposed to be in this world. And one of the things that comes with the accomplishment is to be the best person you can be. Not the worst person you can be. The best person you can be. And that should be first in everyone's mind. It should be first in everyone, every single person's mind. And I feel like in a lot of in a lot of people's a lot of people's mindset isn't like that, and I don't understand why. It's like they got they've got so much hurt, so much anger. They they just they feel like. If they, if they fake about being successful and talk about how they destroyed people on the way up. Then they've got so much hate and so much hurt in their mind and in their heart. That they want to inflict on other people. And they do it in a way where they try to get other people to follow them, yes? And that happens so many times. It happens so often. So, so often. And so many selfish people out there. So many selfish people out there. It's ridiculous. But Katara, she changed instantly, yes? And this was a good showcase to us all. About being a human. A good human being. And just Aang. Aang forgived her instantly. The forgiveness was just next level. I mean... Anyone else, anyone else would have been angry, but no, Aang wasn't. He said, no, it's not Katara, it's not your fault, don't worry, it's not your fault. That's what Aang, that's what Aang did. He said that instantly. So his forgiveness was just on showcase to another level, to us all. Mind-blowing, absolutely mind-blowing.
So this is why I've been enjoying Avatar, guys, because there's so many good morals that come out of these 20 minute episodes. Just, I take my hat off to the people that made this. Just truly special, truly, truly special, guys. And I, I'm like I say always, I'm appreciative and I'm glad I'm alive to see all of this, guys. And remember, if you want to go watch this in full up here without the watermark or down the description down below, just remember that you can go watch it over on Patreon. This will these come out way before uh, YouTube gets them over on Patreon. Over on Patreon, you get these way before YouTube does. Everyone over on Patreon, thank you very much for supporting me again today. Every single day, you guys are always there. Stay tuned for a few hours. Later tonight, there will be a movie. Guys, I love you all, and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye, guys. Take it easy. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, wherever you are around the world. Bye, guys. <laughs>
Gotta be quicker next time. <laughs> there goes your swords. Man! <laughs> I just said that. You army? There were only like 20 guys. <laughs> my name is Jet, uh, and these are my freedom fighters. Sneers, Snarby, nice. and Pipsqueak. Pipsqueak. <laughs> Pipsqueak. That's a funny name. You think my name is funny? Oh! It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was talking about the little fella. Thanks for saving us, Jet. We're lucky you were there. We just needed the right distraction. And then you guys stumbled in. That was the you distraction. The, the distraction. You'll get your... Yeah. Hey, Jet, these barrels are filled with blasting jelly. Let's not get those mixed up. We'll take the stuff back to the hideout. You want to see it? Yes, we want to see it. <laughs> Don't even know these people. And, like, these, these people have just said, we have a hideout, yeah? We're going to take this back to the hideout. And they're like, oh, so you have a hideout. Yeah, I do have a hideout. You want to see it? There's a reason why it's called a hideout. You don't go around saying it to people you've just met. <laughs> oh, boy. Where? There's nothing here. Hold this. <laughs> Hang. Grab hold of me, Katara. How does he know her name? It's beautiful, and more importantly, the Fire Nation can't find us. Why does the Fire Nation want to find you? They took over a nearby Earth Kingdom town a few years back. One day, we'll drive the Fire Nation out of here for good, and free that town. Hmm. That's so... Don't pay any attention <laughs> to my brother. No problem. Long shot over there? His town got burned down by the Fire Nation. I don't think he ever really had a home. What about you? Fire Nation killed my parents. I was only eight years old. Whoa! Sokka and I lost our mother to the Fire Nation. Hmm. Today, we struck another blow against the Fire Nation swine. I got a special joy from the look on one soldier's face. <laughs> yeah, dude! Now, the Fire Nation thing. <laughs> they are dead wrong. Yeah! By the way, I was really impressed with you and Aang. That was some great bending I saw out there today. He's the Avatar. Avatar, huh? Very nice. If looks, okay, guys, if like looking at someone could kill someone, this would be murder. Watch this. I could use some more training. <laughs> uh, he'd be dead by now if, uh, if looking at someone could kill him. Mm -mm. So I might know a way that you and Aang can help in our struggle. Unfortunately, we have to leave tonight. I needed you on an important mission tomorrow. Ah, he's what like, mission? important mission? Okay. <laughs> he always wants to be the hero, Saka, I swear. Always. Always wants to be a hero. What are you doing? <laughs> it amplifies vibrations. Someone's approaching. How many? I think there's just one. Oh, it's an Wait. old man. False alarm. He's just an old man. Please, sir. I'm just a traveler. Do you like destroying towns? Do you like destroying families? Do you? Have mercy. Does the Fire Nation have mercy? <laughs> Jet, he's just an old man. Have you forgotten that the Fire Nation killed your mother? This doesn't feel right. It's what has to be done. I feel like Jet has a lot of anger and a lot of past that he has to get rid of that's deep inside of him. <sighs> That deep anger, let me just say, guys, that deep anger with inside of us, it took me, like, the reason why I talk about these sorts of things, guys, because I've either seen it or I've experienced it myself. And let me just say, I used to have some deep anger in my teenage years to certain people, especially a, a, cer a certain girl, yes, that I'll tell you one day completely ripped my heart out. But the thing is, we all have had that deep anger, yes? And it takes a while for that deep anger to finally relinquish. 
from our body to give up from our body but we have to find a way as human beings to get rid of that deep anger as soon as possible because it would just eat you up inside and before you know it 10 years have gone by and you've just been left with anger 10 15 20 your whole life a lot of people will live with their life live their life with anger how do you think karens are born karens aren't karens for the sake of being karens it's because they have a lot of anger issues that are built up over time and they don't know how to get it out the only way they get it out is by doing what they do hence the word karen's coming from yes sorry to any karens out there that are named karen that are fantastic people yes but the thing is that's what i'm talking to you guys about the the deep anger inside of us like you guys see you guys see me now every now and then i will rage yes of course it's normal because i mean you watch game of thrones or you just watch people that you just want to let loose at yeah and i don't hold back in my videos at all so what you see is what you get but i'm now in a stage since you could say the last three and a bit years or even four years no I would say since the birth of my son. Since the birth of my son. So let's just say six years. Since the birth of my son and, and moving to Spain. I feel like in my own headspace and my own body, my own personality. I feel like now, right now, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very at ease with myself as a person. I'm at ease with a lot of things in life and it's even when things happen when the when the lockdown first happened i didn't even have the youtube at all or or or, or patreon or or talking to you guys whatsoever over on instagram whether it's over on patreon even before that i was i was at ease as a person because everything that had happened to me in the past Everyone that had hurt me in the past, I felt like there was no more that people could do to me. I honestly felt like that. And my wife has been saying it since my son was born. I just felt like all the anger just went straight out of my body. And my wife even tells me sometimes that I'm too relaxed at times. Not as in lazy. I'm not a lazy person at all whatsoever. But I'm too relaxed when it comes to a lot of things. With a lot of situations, yeah? Or, for example, normal situations where people will get nervous. I'm not. I'm not whatsoever. I don't think a house would be burning and I would be relaxed. No, of course not. I wouldn't be relaxed. A house is burning. But you get... When I say that, a house could be burning and I would be still would be relaxed. I would say is a figure of speech but that's what my personality is like now yes well, like i said a lot of things don't don't phase me at all of from time to time i get i get angry i get angry you guys see it in 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 um in my reactions but that's just me reacting to what i see in a video because i don't like those sorts of situations or those sorts of people that are doing those sorts of things to other people in movies and you guys see the honest reaction yes a lot of people may say my ears rip my ears and things like that but i mean at the end of the day you're getting an honest reaction so when i'm talking about a lot of us have things that have happened to us in the past that we hold for so long that it ends up changing us it ends up eating us up inside and making us into people that we aren't and that's why it's so important so important to find a way to to release this anger yes to get rid of this deep inner anger and there's just like i said the things that happen in the past a lot of us keep that deep inside and that's the worst kind of thing 
you could have inside are the deep uh, is the deep ha is the deep hatred sorry the deep hatred is the worst that you could have inside of you is that deep hatred yes because that's the hardest to get out of your system you can have hatred towards something towards someone yeah no problem everyone's made out of uh, made out of love and made out of hatred i would prefer that we all show peace no problem but i mean everyone's got that in them yeah everyone's got hatred in them of course i know that i know that but that deep hatred the people that do have the deep hatred inside of them that's the most difficult thing that's the most difficult thing to get out it's like a permanent marker you just got to keep on scrubbing it scrubbing it scrubbing it until eventually it it doesn't go away but it's barely visible and I feel sorry for the people that do suffer from having that deep anger because, like I said, it lasts for a long, long time. But I can't sit here and say, you need to do this to get rid of the anger. You need to do this to get rid of this deep anger, blah, blah, blah. Because, to, to be honest, to be honest, guys, everyone's different. For me, it was seeing the birth of my son. For me, it was seeing my family grow. That was for me that was the that was the release nothing mattered anymore nothing mattered anymore that was the complete release of that deep anger and it took so long it took so so long and there will be a video in the past where i'll t in the future sorry where i'll talk about the past but just like i said if people knew exactly what happened to me and what the people did to me mentally especially this one person i'm not going to mention her name at all because i mean i'm not going to put hatred towards her over on social media if she does or not i'm not too sure but like i said it's um yeah my wife knows knows about the situation from when i was younger she knows about the situation but like I said, that, that deep hatred was inside of me and that's, it, it's gone. I'm almost 30 years old and my life is, my life expectancy is halfway through. I can't keep that in forever. And like I said, as soon as I saw a piece of me coming into this world and blossoming, I just, that just, it all drained out of me. Whether it's family members whether it's friends whether it's it's your mom your dad whoever it is let that deep anger go i'm telling you right now guys let that deep anger go no matter if it's your neighbor just let it go trust me guys you will feel so good so good soon as you let that go but please when you do let that go even if it's for one hour and then that person's doing the same thing again don't let them get get to you don't let them get to you okay i beg of you don't let it get to you either block it out ignore it or don't go anywhere near it whatever it is because if someone is doing that to you then that person you shouldn't be around at all just remember that, okay, guys? Saka, look what the Duke gave me! <laughs> of course the Duke would give that to him. Yeah, he's back, but we're leaving. What? Your boyfriend Jet's a thug. What? He's not messed up. He's just got a different way of life. He beat and robbed a harmless old man. I want to hear Jet's side of the story. You told them what happened, but you didn't mention that the guy was Fire Nation? He was an assassin, Saka. See? There's a compartment for poison in the knife. I knew there was an explanation. I didn't see any knife. I'm sure you just didn't notice the knife. Mm, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Oh, the hairs of me... Up the top of me ass crack is, uh... They're standing up. I don't know. No, 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 no. I don't know about this situation. There was no knife. I'm going back to the hut and packing my things. What can we do? If you both use water bending to fill the reservoir, we could fight the fires. They'll destroy the whole valley. 
We can't leave now with the Fire Nation about to burn down a forest. But we can't trust him. You're jealous that he's a better warrior and a better leader. Katara, I'm not jealous of Jet. My instincts tell me we need to stay here a little longer and help Jet. Sorry, Sokka. Mm, I don't know. I'm not trusting this. Not trusting it. See, I told you, there's something dodgy going on here, guys. Wait, wait, Katara up. Wake Katara up. We're not to blow the dam until I give the signal. What about the people in the town? Won't they get wiped out too? Now don't blow the dam until I give the signal. Got it? Uh, where do you think you're going, Ponytail? Uh-oh. Sokka. Uh-oh. I'm glad you decided to join us. There are people living there, Jet. Mothers and fathers and children. Who lied to Aang and Katara because they don't understand the demands of war. I understand that there's nothing you won't do to get what you want. I can't let you warn Katara and Aang. Take him for a walk. We're going to win a I great victory it. against the Fire Absolutely Nation. Absolutely knew it. You dodgy, dodgy little bugger. Jet, I'm sorry about how Sokka's been acting. Really? Sokka apologized? Yeah, I was surprised too. All right, now Aang knows something's going on. Sokka never apologizes. We know it. Well, I'm glad he cooled off. He's so stubborn sometimes. All right, we're here. Underground water is trying to escape from these vents. I've never used bending on water I can't see. You can do this. What about me? He's just using them. Just using them. Using them, not using them. Sorry, that's my Aussie accent. Using them? No. Using them. Yes! Good job. Okay, you two keep it up. I'll go check on things at the reservoir. Actually, probably better if you meet me back at the hideout when you're done. I bet that's enough. Let's catch up with Jet at the <sighs> reservoir. I thought we agreed to meet Jet back at the hideout. Oh, well, they're gonna struggle. see everything. I'm sure they're gonna see everything. See they're gonna see what they're doing. Come on, move along. Follow what he says, and things always turn out okay. Traps. Then he's got a lot to learn. Hey! <laughs> ah, you're in the trap. Sorry, well, buddies. While you're up there, you might want to practice your knot work. You're gonna eat your lychee nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Hey, those are the red barrels he got from the fire nate. Because Jet's gonna blow up the dam. Jet wouldn't do that. I've got to stop him. Your brother tried to tell you. Think about what the Fire Nation did to your mother. This isn't the answer. I want you to understand me, Katara. Where's Sokka? Katara. <laughs> You're not going anywhere without your glider. I'm not going to fight you, Jet. You'll have to if you want your glider back. Jet, you're making a mistake, buddy. You have no chance against Aang, sorry to say. Why are you even bothering, Jet? There is no chance on earth. No chance on earth you're going to do anything to Aang. Sorry, buddy. Oop. Katara! Katara! You're frozen now, buddy. I can't believe I trusted you. Because he has the deep anger, I'm telling You're you. You're sick and I tr You're too late. No! Sokka's still out there. He's our only chance. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Please. Sucker has evacuated everyone from the town. Watch. Mm -mm. I bet you any money. Sokka didn't make it in time. Jet, you monster! The Fire Nation is gone and this valley will be safe. Without you. I warned the villagers of your plan just in time. At first they didn't believe me, but one man vouched for me. The old man you attacked. We got everyone out in time. This is pretty! Mm -hmm. Traitor! No, Jet. You became the traitor when you stopped protecting innocent people. Goodbye, Jet. Yip, yip. Mm, I think Jet's going to be a villain they'll run into in the future. Hmm. We thought you were going to the dam. Your instincts told you. Hey, sometimes they're right. You know we're going the wrong way, right? 
sometimes they're wrong. <laughs> Everything was perfect until the end. Of course, that, that's sucker. Everything's perfect till the end. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. There is episode number 10, I do believe. Yeah, episode 10 of season one done of Avatar The Last Airbender. And like I was telling you guys about deep hatred, it is something that a lot of people carry around for the, the, the entirety of their existence on this planet. And the quicker you get rid of that, the quicker you will be at peace as a person. And I'm not talking about, oh, treat other, everyone, well, you know what I mean, go do yoga and things like that. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you as a person releasing that anger. And I'm not talking about going and murdering people, go do this, go do that. No, I'm not talking about using violence. I'm talking about releasing that deep inner anger i don't know how you can do it i don't know how you can do it but there are certain things that will trigger it because everyone is different in the in this world as soon as that anger gets released you will be better as a person but don't release it in a violent manner do not release it in a violent manner because that's not what you should be doing guys what you should be doing is releasing it in either a positive energy way or see what happens in your life that would disintegrate it because i didn't do anything special well i did i planted a seed in me missus but <laughs> But my, the birth of my son, the birth of my children, it's what released the deep anger. I had deep anger for a certain particular family member, and that's gone. That's honestly gone. I, I, don't, I don't have that deep anger at all anymore whatsoever. It's completely gone. Like I said, guys, it, certain things will, will release that and... Even if it's just talking to someone. Even if it's going and getting help. Look, don't be ashamed about going to get psychologists to help you. Don't be, don't ever be ashamed about it. Don't ever be ashamed about admitting you, you have problems. Don't ever. Even if you are a male, don't be ashamed about it. Embrace it. The quicker you'll be at peace trust me anyway guys thank you very much for watching i love each and every single one of you hopefully you're, you're having a fantastic day remember over on youtube up here or down in the description down below is where you can watch this in full without the watermark everyone over on patreon bless you all once again uh next month is is just around the corner a couple of days and you guys have already signed up for the next month and it's yeah uh, unbelievable and, I, and i'm thanking you guys all the time because yeah, like I said, this journey is 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 not ending until I'm dead. We have so many things to watch, so many ways that we we are changing, guys. We are adapting to everything. And like I said, guys, I thank you much, very, very much for the support. All right, guys, take it easy. I hope you all have a, a fantastic morning, fantastic afternoon, fantastic night, wherever you are around the world. And I'll see you... Uh, well, I'll see you next episode. In a couple of hours, I'll be recording the next one. I have to go do some errands. All right, guys. Take it easy. I'll speak to you then.